Welcome back everyone, this is Erica with Hooking You Up, and today in this video we're going to be doing some popular high-waisted granny square shorts. These were a hit last summer, and I'm glad to be sharing this pattern with you guys. Um, what you'll need is, I'm going to be using a size 5.75 millimeter hook, I got a pair of scissors, of course my tapestry needle to weave in the ends, and then I have some various yarn. Um, I believe these are two Red Heart yarn. They're all roughly the same weight and I got some Craft Smart. Um, so I'm gonna be working with four colors today and let's just jump right into it. So I did already complete one side of the shorts just so this video isn't long and to use it as reference as I go. So, let me show you a close up and then we'll quickly get started. Super beautiful. Lots of flexibility. All right, let's get started. So according to this, I'm just gonna be following the same pattern of colors that I used on this side. Um, so both sides are the same. So I'm gonna be bringing in my dark yarn, my dark green yarn. I'm going to bring this over to the side. And we're going to start by making a magic ring. Alright. Let me bring this down lower. All right, once we've made a magic ring, we're going to chain two. And then we're gonna complete two double crochet inside the magic circle. So that's one. Two. We're going to chain two. And we're going to make three more double crochet in the centered circle. Chain two, three more double crochet. chain two and we're going to work three more sets of double crochet for a total of four sets of three double crochet chaining two in between each double crochet set So it should look something like this. And now we're going to pull that, using the tail, we're going to pull that circle closed and it's going to look like this. We're going to chain two, flip our work. And now we're going to be starting the second row. So, in between the first, in that first set of three double crochet, in between the first and second double crochet, I'm going to make a double crochet. Chain one. Now in this, I'm going to skip those two double crochets and inside this chain two space, I'm going to make two double crochet so the first um foundation set will be three four sets of three double crochet the rest of the pattern will be made up of two double crochet as we work back and forth in the round so i just want to point that out so we're going to make two double crochet in that chain two space chain one 
two more double crochet in that same space. So you have two sets of two double crochet with a chain one in between those two sets. You're going to chain one in this bottom chain two. We're going to repeat two double crochet, chain one, two more sets or two more double crochets in that same space. Chain one, back up to the other side, we're going to make two double crochets. Chain one, two more double crochet in that same chain two space. Chain one. Now we're going to mimic this side. So in between that first chain, starting up here, you'll. So if we're going to mimic this side, we're going to do a double crochet in between the first and second double crochet and we're going to do one more for that chain three all right now it should look something like this and if you line it up it lines up perfectly well with this set so now, as you can see, brown will be our next color. Or whatever your next color is, you can bring it in. So, we want to have, before we finish that last double crochet, um, instead of chaining over and pulling through, we're going to have those last two stitches on our hook and we're going to bring in the brown now using my middle finger and my ring finger I'm going to hold the tail and I'm going to pull that color through you can pull the first color down a little bit so it tugs and then you're going to chain two and you're going to flip Now, I don't necessarily cut the, um, as you switch colors, you can, you can cut the previous color off, leaving a tail. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Right now, I'm not going to do it, um, but I'm just going to try my best to not get them tangled up. So after you chain two, you add it in your second color, you're going to chain two, and you're going to flip your work. Now again, we're going to be doing that same. Now the key is um, when you start your next row, you're going to see that some of the rows have one double crochet and then it works into two double crochets all the way around. The reason for that, see one double crochet, one double crochet. The reason for that is so we can make our, um, uh, what is this piece called? So we can make these even, basically. So if you were if you were to just start working in this um, in your first chain one, you would see that this side would get like lopsided and it wouldn't be even. So the chaining one is or having one double crochet is um, great. So with that being said, we have two double crochet right here. In the middle, we're going to do a double crochet. And this is going to help prevent, see how straight it is? It's going to continue being straight as long as we make a double crochet in between the first double crochets for each side. So you always want to mimic each side. If you have, if you have a chain three and a double crochet over here, once you get to this end, in between that first two double crochet, you're gonna of course have a double crochet and 
you're going to have two double crochets since you're not necessarily going to make a chain of three. So you're going to chain one, two double crochet in that next space, chain one. Now we're working two sets of two double crochet with a chain one in between. Chain one. Chain one. See how it's nice and even. Now we're gonna continue working our way around. Chain two. Excuse me. Two double crochet, chain one. Now we're working our bottom hole. We're gonna have two sets of double crochet. So one double crochet, two double crochet. Let me bring this down some more. Chain one, two more double crochet. Alright, chain one, two double crochet, chain one, and this side one. Double crochet, double crochet, chain one, two more in that same hole. Chain one, two in the next hole. Chain one. Double crochet. Chain two. So, as you can see, nice and even. Now we have one more row of brown to go. So we're going to continue this. Like I said, in between the first and the second, we're going to double crochet. That will keep this nice and straight. This part nice and straight. Chain one. In the next chain one space, we're gonna do two double crochet. And that's basically how these shorts are being worked up. Now you can do all one color or you can do multiple colors like I am. As long as you know how to bring in the next color, then you can use as many colors as you would like. We're gonna continue working our way around. I'll show you guys how to do the next color, how to bring in the next color, and then, now this is the foundation. We're going to start off for all sizes. Chain one, two more double crochet in that bottom. Two double crochet and I will give you a tip in the next once I bring in the third color I will give you tips on how to make your size typically you'll keep doing this pattern until it covers Work on our last two double crochet in that last chain one space. Chain one. Now we're going to make two more 
in between that first and second double crochet. So before we finish that second double crochet, we're going to bring in our third color, which in my case is orange. And we're just gonna be doing one row of orange. So again, I'm going to be holding my tail end. You can either do it in your ring and pinky or your middle. As long as you're just holding it tight, it makes it easier to pull through. chain two now we're going to flip again you're going to be making one double crochet for a total of with that chain three it's a total of two in between that first and second double crochet from the previous stitch we're going to chain one and we're going to repeat two double crochet chaining one, two double crochet, chaining one, two double crochet, chaining one, and making sure to make two sets of two double crochet with a chain one in between in your side, your two sides, as well as the bottom. And you'll see that as you work your way around. Chaining one in between. So I have a pair of jean shorts here. Nice and even. I know there's a lot of loose strings, but you can see the orange is lined up. We just have to finish off and continue working back and forth, back and forth until I have, how many rows do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So in my case, I am a size small. I will be having, if you want to count from your top, Actually, this is only two rows. So if you want to start right here, your foundation chain, you're going to count. This is how you're going to count how many rows you have, um, which you don't really need to have a specific amount of rows as long as you have the right measurements for your size. So I have a total of 12 rows and this will get me a size small. So let me show you guys real quick. All right, so how you know you have made the right size um, uh, for each each palette, how you're gonna know how you made the right size is right here I have a pair of jean shorts for reference. Um, these are my size shorts. So typically you're going to, now I wouldn't necessarily, this just, happen to measure perfectly um i don't necessarily i don't know this to be true if if you lay out your one side against your pair of jeans um i don't know if it's going to be perfectly even like this this just honestly happened to be this way however these sides these two sides of your project are the these two pieces right here of your jeans so you're going to want to make enough rows around, work back and forth until this side fits. And you can measure it on you. Um, you can just pull it tight on you. And if this side hits one side of your hip right here, and this side hits one side of your hip right there perfectly, because it does stretch. So you don't need you don't need to make extra room unless you want it baggier which i mean is your preference but and then the bottom you want it to cover your front private area so 
typically it should just meet right in the middle between your legs because the other side of your palette is going to be your butt size now both sides are going to be the same and i know some of us have uh big butts which is fine um because as we work our leg borders will be able to cover more butt so you don't have to worry about um making an extra row so that it'll cover your butt just make sure both sides of these are the same so like i said this these two sides you want it to cover um where this where these pieces would be if i had these shorts on is where these two sides are going to be when you measure um and you can measure as you go you can just put it right right over you and see how far it goes on your hips then this part you want it to cover your front um crotch area and then the back side should be able if you pull this through in between your legs these two pieces both the sides should connect uh, comfortably so I, so that's basically how we measure our sides so I have done enough with you guys I will finish this Oop, see getting tangled up I will finish this orange um, row with you and then from there I will meet you guys at the end when we connect the ends and then work our um, border and our top so again we're doing two One, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. Chain one, two double crochet, working that bottom, chain one, two more double crochet in that same hole. Chain one, working back up the other side, two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet, and I know I'm going a little fast, but this is pretty repetitive. If you got past the foundation chain, then the rest should be, should flow easy. Two double crochet. Chain one, 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 two double crochet. Chain one. And then two double crochet in between that previous. Right. So I will see you guys at the end once you've got your desired um, length and you're ready to sew in the two pieces together. All right, you guys, we're back. So I've completed my two pieces, my two sides. And now we're going to connect the two sides. Let me move my cord. We're gonna connect the two sides so I have some string that we're gonna weave in. And I got my tapestry needle. Both sides are gonna be weaved in the same way. I'm gonna show you one side and then you can just mimic for the other side. Then I'll show you how to weave in the bottom piece We'll start the legs and be on our way. So let me bring this closer. All right, guys. So I'm going to all right. 
we're gonna weave in all of these at the very, very end. It'll be the last thing we do. All right, so you're basically just gonna line it up and we're just gonna weave in. Let me bring this closer. All right, so both sides are lined up and we're just gonna weave in through the first two. We're not gonna do two for a total of four we're bringing through, just the two top. Sorry for all that ruckus, I have a 100 pound dog up, upstairs that's just being obnoxious. We're going to do this till we get to the end. Simple and easy. All right, you guys, we did both sides. Now we're gonna do the bottom. We're gonna line these two sets up just like that. I have two random strings here. I'm going to make a slip knot at the very end. I'm going to insert it in this, in the top of this first double crochet. Tie in the back. Oops. Untie. I can still go there. All right. I'm gonna do the same to this side. You know what, let me get a longer one. Make sure these tails match the last color that you used, just so you don't see the... Again, we're gonna do the top of that first double crochet. I like to just knot it for extra support. So now you have a knot for both sides, right? So we'll start with this one, put our slip knot through, all right, now we're going to go through the top of this, see we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, with two chain ones in between, so we're going to make sure it lines up. And then we're gonna go on the top of the chain one. We're gonna mimic the other side, flip over. Let me bring this closer in case you guys can't see. Gonna again. And make sure it matches this side. Insert. Now we're gonna insert the top of that. Take off. Now we're gonna bring all of these tails through the inside. Flip this inside out. Flip your shorts inside out. And then we can 
I like to see these two are closest to each other and then these two tails are closest to each other. So I like to just weave them through until they're super close. That way it won't bunch up when you try to tie them together. Then I weave it through again. Do the same with this side. You can cut off. your center crotch area is weaved in. Alright. Now you guys can see it's all connected. All right, now we're gonna start doing the bottom. We're gonna start, I usually start around this hip crease. So you can pick any color. I'm gonna do another row of this green. Um, and you'll basically do as many rows as you need around. I'll show you how to do one row around and then you'll continue working in the rows until you have your desired coverage for your um for your uh legs all right so i'm gonna insert it in the top or there's gonna be a corner of two sets of double crochet i'm gonna insert my needle I always like to tie that back tail in for extra support. Chain one, and then I'll make another double crochet in that same hole. Chain one, and I'm going to continue the same pattern we've been doing. So two double crochet, chain one. Two double crochet, chain one, All right, now once we've made it to that crotch area, I usually like to do one double crochet here and then one double crochet in that mimicking hole um, instead of two double crochet, just cause it'll give it some uh, scrunch right here and it won't be as baggy. So I'm gonna do one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, chain one. Now if you want this hole, typically when these are on this hole won't be that big, but if you don't want the hole, if you want a smaller hole you can just make a double crochet right here. Um, in some of the shorts I've made in the past I have done one double crochet right here and one double crochet right here, but it's all for preference. For this video I'm not going to so we're gonna continue two double crochet, chain one, 
all the way back up in the round. And you'll follow that same pattern with the one double crochet on both sides of the crotch set on this side as well. Once you finish that last set, you'll see you made your way around. Instead of chaining one, I'm just going to slip on the top of that beginning double crochet we just did. Now from here, you can either continue with this color or you can add in another color. I'm, since I would like a little more brown, I'm going to add in a row of brown. Now I typically do uh, three rows total for the for each side of the legs. So after I do one brown, I'll probably do a green, and then I will start doing the um, the scalloped edging. So I will meet you guys once you finish your desired um, length of your leg holes. You can always try it on as you complete each row to see how much coverage you have around your butt or you can have them cheeky. I usually keep them cheeky because these are perfect for bikini cover ups. Um, but if you're wanting more coverage, then I would I would just keep going until you've um, got the coverage that you need. So I'm going to continue doing my um, the rest of my leg. I'm going to do about two more rows and then I'll do the edging with you and then we'll do both we'll basically mimic both sides um so i'll meet you guys at the end all right you guys so i have finished one side and now i made the so i made uh four extra rows um before the edging and uh normally i like them a little cheeky but i decided to make these a little longer so i added an extra row or two than my previous ones um, again if you want them cheekier i would just add a couple rows after you've attached um, this part and so now um, i'm going to show you guys how to do this edging right here it's basically just a row of half double crochet around and then the scalloped edging so super easy i'm going to add in my light green because that's what I did for this half double crochet all right so I'm going to insert chain one And then I'm going to half double crochet in that first double crochet, the second, top of the second double crochet. And then I'm also going to half double crochet where this chain one is right under. So again, I'm going to half double crochet in that first double crochet, second double crochet, and that chain one space half double crochet in that first double crochet half double crochet in that second half double crochet 
under that chain one. And you're going to repeat this until you end up back at the end. All right, you guys, so I made it to the very end. I'm going to slip stitch on the top of that half double crochet we started. And I'm not gonna pull all the way through so I can add in my last color. So as you can see, just finish this row of half double crochet. Now we're going to do our last part of our of our um, legs, and that's this scalloped um, stitch. So what I'm going to do is bring in that next chain one. I'm going to single crochet in that first next stitch then I'm going to skip one stitch and in that second stitch I'm going to make six double crochet in that same hole Alright, now I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to slip stitch in that third chain. I'm going to single crochet in the next chain. I'm going to skip one and then I'm going to half double crochet six in that next stitch. And you're basically going to repeat this until you've made it all the way back around, which you should be ending with a, uh, I mean, everyone's sizing is different, so don't um, quote me on this, but I believe you should end with a single crochet. Again, we're gonna skip two and then we're going to slip stitch in that third one, single crochet in the next, skip one, six double crochet, and I will meet you guys at the end. All right, you guys, so now that we've completed both of our boarding on each side, you can see how nice and even it is we're going to do the top part now the top part is just going to co consist of three rows of single crochet and then one row of double crochet and then the last row will be half double crochet we'll make a long chain and that will be our tie um our jawstring tie so I am going to start with uh, this color right here and then just do the next three colors. So I like to start on the far right, one of the corners. Um, Alright, so... Let's see, I'm gonna insert anywhere. Now I'm going to single crochet. Now if you want it super high-waisted, I would do three rows of half double crochet, excuse me, instead of um, three rows of single crochet. Um, and as I work my way around, I am going to try and make my row as straight as possible. So not every stitch is going to look the same. Um, you can see this stitch is different than this stitch. But as long as you work your way around making each stitch as even as possible then it'll still look perfect 
at the end. Now I haven't weaved in, I've weaved in all my bottoms and sides, but I haven't weaved in all these top, uh, all these top tails. I have learned doing so many of these granny square shorts that it's just easier to do them at the very end. So even if they get in your way, like right here, as you're working your single crochets around, just try to weave them in with the single crochet as I am doing while trying to keep everything straight. Now you don't want to, you want to make the stitches close together because if you don't, they'll kind of scrunch and then they'll be hard to pull up. You want this top part to be um, fairly loose and nice and even so that uh, the drawstring can do all the adjusting if you need them tighter. So I'm just going to continue all the way around and I'll meet you guys back over here. All right, you guys, I just completed my first row of single crochet all the way around. Now I'm going to bring in my next color, which is brown, and then I'm going to do a row of orange single crochet all the way around, and then I'm going to do half double crochet with this green, and then my, I'll, excuse me, I'll do double crochet with this green, and then I'll do half double crochet also with this green. And that'll be the top and final layer. So you'll have three rows total of single crochet. Then you'll have one row total of double crochet. And that's basically where your drawstring is going to be in the loops. And then you'll you'll do a, a half double crochet. And then you'll be done. So I'm going to knock out my last two rows, one of brown, one of um, orange for three rows total of my single crochet. And then I'll meet you guys um, for the double crochet. All right, you guys, so as you can see, I have my three rows of single crochet and now I'm going to be working my half double crochet row. So I'm going to bring in this color, I'm going to chain two. I'm going to skip one double crochet and then next one, chain one, skip one double crochet in that next stitch. So basically you're creating these holes and this is what your drawstring is going to be worked through. So pretty simple, pretty easy. Keep working our way all the way around. Now when you put them on, if you feel like they're snug, you can always chain two instead of chaining one in between each of these double crochets. Otherwise, it should fairly still stretch. So. We're going to continue this and I will meet you for our last row. 
All right, you guys, once you've made it all the way around, it'll look something like this. And I'm just going to slip stitch, chain one, and then I'm going to half double crochet in that first stitch. I'm going to half double crochet in that chain one, half double crochet in the stitch, half double crochet in the chain one, half double crochet in the stitch, half double crochet in the chain one, and you're going to repeat this all the way around. All right, you guys, so the very last thing that I did, so I have completed my last row of half double crochet, and now they'll look something like this. I made a chain, this is going to be my drawstring. I made a chain of 140, um, and you can do as many as you need. How I um, knew roughly how much uh, of a chain I would need, I just, Put it around my waist um kind of where like right where my belly button level is and then i tied it and i see and i was looking for how much string i have left once it's um tied up as if it was on and so that's what you guys can do so you don't make your string too long or your string too short so now what i like to do is just start I usually skip one, go into the next, skip one, and do this all the way around. And that's what it will look like. So once it's on, you can adjust it, tie it. Perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave them. Whoops. Please leave them in the um, comment section down below and I'll for sure get back to you guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video and you love your shorts as much as I do, be sure to hit the likes, the like button so I know that you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.